Hello, and welcome to the next chapter of Alexandria. I believe we will be going into the economics of today. Excuse me. So, um, I had to restart these graphic, graphic, uh, graphic issues. Asia was the first country to earn the accolade civilized by the field of the Greeks. It's interesting. Yeah, I had some graphics issues. Dynastic heritage, 332 to 30 BC. He was the Ptolemaic dynasty. Final dynasty was the Ptolemy Ptolemaic dynasty, founded by Ptolemy the first century. There was another blurb that hopefully he got to see. There we go. Now, before everything was choking and choking still. Shadows the sun. Look back my god. Or assassin. Okay. So hopefully this isn't bad. We are doing Alexandria a commercial hub. He's been I don't know if I'm near that or not. Death business in Memphis, the secret city run by a hierarchy of pre specific business. And there was a Oh. That was right by Hold on. Hopefully this isn't too flippy. Alexandria, a commercial hub. Learn about the major economic role of Alexandria during the during each Let's get started. Welcome to Alexandria, a commercial hub. The ports of Alexandria were a major commercial hub, effectively connecting Egypt with the Mediterranean regions and beyond. A tremendous amount of materials and goods flowed through the city on a daily basis. The large port market was called the Emporion. It was there that merchandise was traded by the ship owners, called Nakliros. Overview of Alexandria, 1995, copyright Jean-Claude Gaumet, another beautiful work by him. Beautiful work. Fruits. Vegetables. Anthropegathe, Anthropegale, Anthropegale, Food and other artisan work streamed out of Egypt. Ceramics, glass, golden rings, and minted coinage. The local potters, using traditional Egyptian techniques, competed with those from abroad, and the textile industry flourished. What Egypt did not produce itself was acquired through trade, using local resources such as wheat and papyrus. Most sought after was pine wood from Syria, iron and marble from the Greek islands, gold from Spain, and exotic fruits from Europe. All this commercial activity contributed to the already decadent wealth of the city. Yes, during this time, Carthaginians were annexed. Carthage and all the other cities annexed. Had access to Spain. Shirts and sheets, various qualities of woven linen. 18th Dynasty, Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York. Mm. 
The wood imported to Port Mariotis through Alexandria's seaward ports was used in the nearby shipyards, where most of Egypt's ships were built. Employing tens of thousands of shipbuilders, the shipyards contributed to establishing the Egyptian fleet as one of the mightiest of the era. Any wood not used in shipbuilding was further disseminated through Egypt for various purposes. Have them a noise, or that? Thalamegos, Palace Catamaran of the, of the Ptolemies, 2016, copyright Jean-Claude Gauvin, and may I say that is an impressive ship. Man, that is wow. Looks like, towards the bow you've got. It's, wow. And you, there's spiral staircases that looks like, I don't know, sand, maybe small gardens on this ship. Goodness gracious, that is, wow. We're probably surrounded by a fleet of triremes, as you can see the little one up there. Incredible. Just incredible. And again, kudos to this game for all of its historic accuracy and especially good work to um, Jean-Claude Gauvin for his amazing artwork. I'm honestly considering buying, I don't know, maybe some books or something like this work, because that is just stunning. <clears throat> the southern port of Lake Mariotis was the biggest in Alexandria. Save for a branch angling westward, the lake's size in the Ptolemaic era was roughly 40 to 50 kilometers from north to south. Its waters were maintained by a steady runoff from the Nile. In addition to the lake, a man-made canal was created to assist in the transfer of goods from the city to the port using barges, though it is not represented in the game due to its size. Overview of Alexandria Detail on Alexandria and Lake Mariotis above. 2019, copyright Jean-Claude Gauvin. And again, more amazing. Malla uh, Heri. Oh, Heri. Yay. Banking was one of the most distinctive innovations brought by the Greeks to Egypt. The centerpiece of Alexandria's wealth was the royal systematization of taxes on almost everything. Basic items such as salt, oil, beer, wheat, and linen were heavily taxed. As a result, the royal treasury of Alexandria was able to ensure the economic stability of most of the administrative areas of Egypt. Gold Octodrachum of Ptolemy IV Philippator, 221 to 204 BC, Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York. By the late 12th century, the channel feeding the lake from the Nile silted up. Lake Mariotis lost its connection to the Mediterranean, as well as most of its water, as the lake slowly evaporated to a fraction of its former size. In modern times, Lake Mariotis is being kept alive through irrigation. However, only about 17% of its original size remains. Alexandria, 
Al Ekensadari, Egypt, 1998, credit image ISS001-ESC-5025, provided by the Earth Sciences and Image Analysis Laboratory, Johnson Space Center, NASA. <laughs> that things don't go horrible, you know. <coughs> Knock on wood. Alright. So, thank you for watching, and have a good night.